Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's look at some common Mac misconceptions. New Mac users sometimes have misconceptions about what their Mac can do and how it works. Let's take a look at some of those. One very common misconception is made by switchers. They've been using Windows and perhaps Microsoft Office software. You know, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And then they switch to Mac and they feel, well, now they have to use iWork because they're on a Mac. But that's not true at all. If you've been using Office software, you can use Microsoft Office for Mac. Office for Mac has been out just about as long as Office for Windows has. As a matter of fact, Excel on the Mac actually predates Excel on Windows. So if you're used to using Microsoft Office on Windows and you switch to Mac, just simply go and get yourself Microsoft Office for Mac. It's almost exactly the same as the one you've been using on Windows and it's probably the most powerful Office software for Mac. But I think probably the most common misconception for new Mac users is about AppleCare. So AppleCare is something that's offered to you when you buy your Mac. It basically extends your warranty. You see when you buy a new Mac you get a one year warranty or Apple Care on your Mac. You can extend that up to three years by buying Apple Care. Now, Apple Care is simply a warranty with some benefits, but it's still basically a warranty. So, the misconception number one is that you don't have Apple Care if you don't buy it, and when in fact you do have a one year warranty on anything you buy from Apple. The other thing is that Apple Care will protect your Mac if you break it. And that's not true at all. It's a warranty. Think of a warranty like your car warranty. If you get into a car accident, you don't use your warranty to fix the car. You use insurance. So if you buy a new MacBook and you want to protect yourself in case you drop it, Apple Care is not going to do it. You may want to look into computer insurance for that, but Apple Care is not something that's going to protect you if you break your Mac. Another misconception is that Macs need Mac hardware. In other words, a Mac mouse, a Mac keyboard, Mac screen. It's not true at all. Macs use USB mice and keyboards and Bluetooth keyboards and mice. So you can use just about any brand. You can even use a Windows branded keyboard for instance. Some of the keys may not match exactly and you have to kind of figure out that the Windows key maps to something else on a Mac keyboard. But you can use anything. So if you feel very comfortable typing on a specialized USB keyboard for instance, go ahead and buy that. It will work with your Mac. The same with all sorts of different mice or any other device like trackball, trackpads, things like that. And in addition, monitors as well. If you've got a Mac Mini or a Mac Pro, then you can use just about any LCD monitor out there. You may need an adapter because newer Macs have the Mini DisplayPort or Thunderbolt port. And you're going to have to have an adapter to go to, say, DVI to use a, another monitor. But you can use any monitor you want with your Mac. Another common misconception is that there's not very much software available for Mac. And while it's true that for a long period of time, Windows software greatly outnumbered Mac software. Now it's a bit debatable. Yet yeah, there's still more Windows software out there, but a lot of it's old. And now you can clearly see how much Mac software there is with the Mac App Store. So, for instance, if you go into the Mac App Store, you go into Categories, you go into some category like Business, and you look at all business apps, you can scroll through it and just see that there's tons and tons of software. And this is just the stuff that's available in the Mac App Store. A lot of software is available outside the Mac App Store directly from developers. Another misconception is about games that games are really on Windows. There's not really any games on the Mac. That's not true at all. Most big titles from companies like Electronic Arts have been released recently for the Mac at the same time as for the PC. And for instance, companies like Valve have been releasing Mac and PC titles side by side for a while now. So most of the big stuff is available for the Mac. It's true that there are more things available for Windows, but there's many more games for the Mac available, more games than you have time to play. So this is by no means a complete list. I want to hear what common Mac misconceptions you've heard. Just leave them as a comment to this post at MacMost.com at this URL right here. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.